Hey guys, Uper Basser here with you. The time has come. It is no longer my secret weapon. I have to do a video. Um, for a good year now, I've been using the one and only two time iCast award winning trapper tackle hooks. Alright, now with that said, I'll go ahead and show you a little bit of rigging with these babies that I've done throughout the year um, and show you some other products that aren't Trapper brand but a uh, uh, guy out there uh, company is Fish in FX um, so Fish the letter N and FX is his site if you can find him on Facebook he makes uh, jig heads tube jigs shaky heads I mean, he's got a variety. Uh, he makes his own, he'll make and tie you your own jigs. Um, find him, I've got some stuff from him. I love it, man. Uh, great products, great guy to work with. Now, moving on. First off, I'll show you. Here you go, here's a jig from Fish and FX using a trapper hook. go there you go little black and blue football head jig now this is not your ideal swim bait jig but I'm just gonna go ahead and show you a little rigging now when you rig any type of jig up uh, or kind of trailer on a spinner bait whatever you're rigging up to be sure you're getting um, the right action and not having to reset this multiple times, I I do this every time. I I don't guess. I always lay, take my bait, my hook, and I lay it alongside there to where I see where I need that hook to come out. I take a good mental note, maybe a marking on the bait, or in this case, there's the gap in the uh the gambler's little those easy swimmer or whatever here the, the swimmer just just a little bit forward of that is where this hook needs to come out on this bait so and big <coughs> sorry uh big thing when you're putting on trailers on a jig or swim bait or on a swim jig or wherever you're going to use them big thing is you want to keep that bait straight so just start feeding it on and just keep that bait straight with jigs that brush guard or whatever kind of gets in your way just kind of hold it down out your way and just keep that bait straight slide it on up on there just keep it going around the bend and now I'm kind of just watching keeping a mental idea of where I measured that bait out to and where I needed to come out and I'm right about there make sure I'm coming out straight out the back and then just slide her down and in to position and there you have it oops sorry way off the screen forgot I zoomed in and there you have it the football head like I said not the standard swim jig head but it was a jig that I had here to use to show you what to do so there you go a fishing FX rigged up with a gambler swimmer easy swimmer on there that trap trapper hook on there man that's gonna get you some fish right there uh, and it's just it's real easy and then the good side of this trapper hook on these jigs man a lot of times you got your trailer on and whatever jig you're using standard hooks that bait will ride down it'll ride down and bunch up on your hook it'll ride up and start covering your hook this baby look at this pull it this way boom right back into position pull it up boom right back on the bottom the thing with that is is that a little bit of squares and the bends in this hook and that locks even your bait on a jig 
it just holds it there, man. It's not going to be sliding around on you. You're not going to be fixing it every time you're dragging these baits around. Uh, that little bit of square bend in that hook right there, man, just holds her there. It's good stuff. Did it again. Good stuff right there. Good stuff. All right. Next, I'll just kind of give it, show it to you. But I mentioned fishing FX. He's got the tube jigs as well. There you go. Standard little tube jig with a trapper hook. Up here, I like to call that smallmouth candy. Well, part of the candy, anyways. Call that the, the tasty insides. All right. And then also he's got the shaky heads, stand up head, whatever you want to call it head. There you go. He's got them babies as well on a little rigging on them. Oop. Rigging on a shaky head. Pretty simple. Bring it in a little bit. Got to have enough on there so it's going to be getting into your little bait keeper down here on the bottom. So kind of just make an idea how much you need, how much you need to come through here. Boom. Come on through. Ride it on down to the end. Then you got it. There you go. Bait keeper holds it on there, down on the bottom. And then when you do this part, what I do is no different than every other with lining up my other uh, the swim bait I did is I always just kind of let it hang there see where the hook and the worm wants to sit on its own and then I take the worm push it forward and slide it on there so you get a nice smooth flow of that bait and I kind of messed that one up. Fail. There we go. That looks a lot better. There you go. Now when it's sitting in the water I think it's going to be standing flat down like that and just standing right up for you. And there you go. And that trapper hook, man, get them locked in that box, bring them into the boat. All right, and one more quick bait that I showed you, just another example of a jig rigged up, another football jig, and this is something that you actually might throw. Um, and for me, I know there's always a standard, hey, if you're throwing black and blue jig, hey, throw a black and blue trailer or whatever. Um, Sometimes, sometimes I follow that. Sometimes I feel like I need to get a little crazy, do something different. Um, in this case, I've got a crazy tiger craw looking color going on. I've got oranges and chartreuse and green pumpkin in there with black and blue. Uh, sometimes that's what it's gonna take, man. Uh, don't always go by the book. Don't always do black and blue and black and blue and green pumpkin and green pumpkin, man. Uh, mix it up. You know, play with it. I mean, fishing is not a uh, only one thing works or it only can be done one way. Uh, mix it up, man, because believe me, it's not going to be the same thing every day. It's not going to be every, the same thing from one hour to the next. Uh, the weather changes, the sun changes, the clouds change, the wind changes. It's always changing. You do the same. Uh, but with this bait, no different than that swim bait I was telling you about. Uh, when you're using craw baits or stuff like this, man, those fish grabbing at it, pulling on it. Man, look at this. Look at this. I'll pull this straight back right now. I'm pulling straight back on that bait. Boom. Right back into position. Look at that. Same with pulling up. Pull it up, pull it up. Boom. It's not bunching up on me. It's not getting up on my top of my hook. Bunching up on my hook. This sucker just holds there. Nice and square. That box opened up, ready to catch you some fish, man. Uh, I can't say enough about these trapper hooks, whether it's in a jig, whether it's in a tube jig, whether it's 
rigged up on a plastic. Here you go. The one and only the stick bait. In this case, the Gambler Ace. Mm mm mm. Bass candy. All right, man. You're gonna love it. Is it? Let me show you. Here we go. Standard, standard rigging on. We'll just rig her up here. Take a look how she sits. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna tell you this right now. I know I do, and I know there's a lot of other people out there that love it too. Rig that baby up. Get it sitting right over the hook like you normally would. Oh man, look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Looking good. Looking good. Just sitting there. Kind of see where I need to come through. All right. Give her a look. All right. Got my spot picked out where I need to be coming through here. I'll run it out. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run this um, as you like to call most people. Well, it's text posed. So come on out of the bait and then tuck my tip right back into the bait. It gives me a nice, smooth, no hook point out. And look how that just sits there, man. It just sits right on that box. It's like this hook was built for this exact type of bait. It just sits there. And again, same with the rigging on those jigs, man. This hook, this bait's not getting all bunched down and sliding down on your, sliding down the hook. So I know if you fished a Cinco, you know what I'm talking about. You rig it up on a regular round bend, standard hook, whatever you want to call them. The old style, the, the regular, the normal. If you rig it up on that, man, that sucker slides down your hook and drives you nuts. And you're fixing it, and you're fixing it, and you're fixing it. You rig it up on a tracker, trapper hook, man. Sits there. Boom. Done. Not riding down your hook. Fish bites, pushes it down, pushes this down in. You got them right there locked in your box. The fish pushes the worm out the way. But when you're pulling it through the grass, through the stumps, through the trees, through the branches, wherever you're pulling it through, that baby just sits in the box waiting waiting for big mama to come get you a little nibble and come visit you in the boat and if you ain't fishing with trapper hooks you need to try them these babies are awesome love them Ugh. like i said man these trapper hooks dude they're not a secret anymore they are out they've got treble hooks you need to check them out uh, these babies have been Two-time ICAST award winners, back-to-back. -back. Uh, what can you say, man? These hooks, it's its no joke. People are out there, and they're dogging on them, and they're going to do that. It's new. It's different. I'm telling you, they work. Carolina rigging, 30 fish, over 30 fish. If I got it hooked, it came to the boat. I don't think I would have had the same results with any other hook. Only the trapper. Lock them in the box, baby. Rig it, lock it, land it. Trust me, give them a try. Go over to trappertackle.com. You'll be able to find them there. Get yourself some. For the jigs, for the tube jigs, for the shaky heads, fish in FX. Go check them out on Facebook. He'll get you hooked up. Uh, man, great products, great guy to work with, and you will not be disappointed. The stuff I've got, nothing but good things to say about them. And, of course, they're rigged with Trapper. Get you some.